Hello and welcome back to the Hourglass Watch channel. Now in my last video, I posted how I got the phone call from my local Watches of Switzerland distributor, local to me, and how they had told me that uh, a Rolex watch had been allocated to me. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you the the actual the watch that I got. So. Without any further ado, so you get as standard with all Rolex watches, the sleeve. So, the Rolex uh, box. The watch, if I can just get that, and here it is, the Rolex Datejust, in the smooth bezel and the white dial. This particular watch, I was uh, on the waiting list for this one for nine months just under a year and this is the one i always wanted i actually specified a white dial um, with the batons so when i got the call very recently about one's been allocated to me um, obviously i was really pleased and eager to go and pick this beauty up so what i'll do now is i'll pick up the actual watch and i'll just show you some closer views of the case and the bracelet so there it is So this is the 41 millimeter day just with the smooth bezel so you can get a bezel this this part here um, that is fluted so basically what that means is that the bezel has white gold surrounding the dial on the case and this one is the other option which is the smooth bezel in stainless steel so not white gold so the case it's very thin I'll do some reverse shots at the end you'll see how it looks um, so if I just take it off that Actually, if I leave that just there, just out of sight. Um, so what else is in here? You've got the swing ticket here. And these are the additional links that uh, were taken out of the bracelet. Um, there you got the model number. So... That's that. Just in the back here. You've got the the manual about the date just. It gives you an overview, setting the watch some information about the comfort link extension which I'll show you shortly so yeah some reading there for me and then you have the international guarantee card and another service manual in the back okay so I'll just pop those back 
ولكن And there's the the actual watch. You've got here what is known as the the buttons. Now the other option is you can have Roman numerals there, but I personally prefer the baton dial. And then you've got on the circumference on the outer edge of the dial you have a railroad track and each five minutes is labeled clearly uh, this here is known as the rehout or rehout mm, that is the rehout there So yeah, now this is the clasp. So it's not a double clasp like the professional series. It's just a single clasp. And as I said earlier, there is a slight adjustment here that you can make to give you that extra comfort so some links were removed I believe three in total were removed for my size so quick wrist shot and there it is now I have for those of you that watch my videos I have a six and a half inch wrist and this is a 41 millimeter dial watch. So as you can see, because it's so low profile, it really works. There you can see the Cyclops. For the date wheel, the magnifier, now soon what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to upload a comparison video with the Tudor Black Bay 41 so just to show you and so you get an idea of how the 41 mil in the Tudor compares with the Rolex Datejust 41. Now I hope you liked my video. If you've got any questions, write in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me with making more watch videos and please like and share this video until next time